Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how to integrate Jenkins with GitHub. In the last video, we created a repository in GitHub called Python, as you may remember. Here is uh, what we have in this repository. We have a, a file called list.py. Let's see what is in it. It is just a simple Python script, which will print some uh, strings and also it will print a range of numbers. And it's just a sample to, to let Jenkins to interact with that code. So let's go back to the repository. Which is interesting in this repository at this moment is in this button, clone or download. So I'm going to copy the clone URL, which is needed because Jenkins should know from where it needs to download the code to work with. So I just copy to the clipboard and I'm going to create a new job in Jenkins, freestyle job in this case. It will redirect me to the configuration page of the job Let's go back um, to the source code management section and click on Git. This will open a new window with some uh, asking some details like the repository URL, which I just copied from GitHub. This is the one. And uh, Jenkins, we will need some credentials to connect to that repository and download the code. At the moment, Jenkins doesn't have any credentials, so I'm going to add a new one. Just clicking here, I'm going to specify my username and password. This is the, the username and password from GitHub. I'm going to set an ID for that credential. And also, you can add a simple description. GitHub cred for this one. I'm going to add it. And I'm going to select it. Okay. Then, uh, we need to specify with which branch needs to, to look for the code. If we go back to GitHub, we can see that we have only one branch at the moment, which is master here. We can create another branches, but at the moment we will use master. So in Jenkins, we will specify master as the source branch to, to download the code. Okay. After Jenkins download the code, it needs to know what to do with it. So uh, scroll down to the build section and I'm going to execute a simple shell. I'm going to print my working directory and also I'm going to list what uh, files, what directories or what is in the, in the current um, directory which is the, 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 the directory where the code was downloaded from GitHub. And finally, I'm going to execute the Python script because I know that the, the repository, the only content that it has is the, the Python script, not, nothing else. So I'm going to execute it. Uh, I'm going to save the changes and I'm going to build now. Okay, it just finished. It just took a couple of seconds. Let's go in it and see the console output. We will see some uh, different sections or different lines than, than we saw the last time because now we are using the Git plugin to, to interact with GitHub and with our repository called Python, which was specified in the 
in the source code management section e Jenkins just cloned what the repository have and it also creates a, a shell script with the commands I use specify in the build section as you can see here is a pwd here is a ls and also the python list.py uh, Jenkins just execute what I told to do it and it prints a list of numbers which uh, was specified on the on the repository's file. This is the expected the expected output. We just interact with an external repository from GitHub, and Jenkins um, built what I told to do from that code. This is very useful in the industry because we we have the, the the source code in external repositories uh, let's say bitbucket let's say uh, github gitlab and another source uh, repositories so jenkins needs to know how to download it from it and uh, after that you can perform another activities like create artifacts such as jar files or uh, zip file any any json any output from that source code you you can do it from jenkins now this is all from this video i hope you enjoy it uh, please subscribe to the channel to to get more notifications about devops videos jenkins and also please suggest uh, more topics that you want to to discuss about and stay tuned thanks